there's been a lot of questions that I get recently, right? Like, why did I go to Bitcoin mining and why I went to ASICs and, you know, did I give up GPU mining? And the answer is going to be no, I still have GPUs. And yes, I did predominantly switch most of my farm to ASICs, right? Now, the other part of this question that, that I, all these other questions I get is, can I still get into Bitcoin mining? And is it worth it to get into Bitcoin mining, right? I get lots of these questions all the time. And I figured we talk about this today. And let's look at exactly how it's been doing for me so far and some of my predictions this year and some of the previous data we can use to kind of help, um, you know, back some of my theories that I think is going to happen, right? So let's go ahead and let's start. Recently purchased, I've already had four S19s. So, um, and then I increased my farm to, uh, I bought 22 S19K 110 um, models and they've been super great. Um, I have brains on them and I'm running them efficiently, um, just because there's not a real, there's, I think it's better to run them efficiently. Some people might argue you might just run them full blast till the having, but you know, we, we could agree to disagree. So everybody has their strategies. So I paid roughly, we'll just say $1,600 a unit. Okay. That's about what I paid for my S19Ks. Um, to get them ship landed here in the U.S., right? Um, and I bought 22 of those. So how much money is that? Well, it's right here. So I spent approximately $35,200 on S19Ks, right? Now, how did I come up with that money? Did it come out of pocket or no? The answer is going to be no. I sold off a lot of my mining hardware. I sold off a lot of my other GPUs, some of my vast AI, uh, vast dot AI stuff. I didn't sell everything. I did sell a chunk of it. So I, and then I also sold all of my flux, which was about like fifteen or sixteen thousand dollars worth of flux at the time when when I sold. It was around a dollar uh, per flux. I also had four. Uh, you know, machines previously to that. So let's go ahead and I'll add those in for a total investment across all of my Bitcoin miners. Uh, I have a 120K uh, Pro at Terra, and then I have a 115K Pro at Terra, and then I have two S19J 104s. And then those 104s, I paid um, 800 each for those. So I'm at a total right now of $40,000 flat. All right, for a for my total investment. All right, total investment, forty thousand bucks. Okay, so let's get into exactly, you know, let's figure out how much all these machines are worth, and let's figure out, like, did I get some good deals on machines or not? Right, and currently, right now, market value of all the machines are about going to be forty two thousand two hundred forty eight bucks. So it it is a a little above the green mark, right? Than what I paid for it, but not by much, right? Really early on in the investment, right? Because prices are going up on the machines and things like that. Um, so let's go ahead and let's now I've, let's see how much I've actually mined. I will show you on my tangent how much Bitcoin I've actually mined to my tangent. And this is also including the electric, right? that has that I've been paying out of you know I I can't front my electric bill every month I have to use my Bitcoin to to pay for my electric so this is all just going to be you know pure profit um, and here I'm just going to show you guys just to be transparent because I want everyone to see this okay so I've mined and this is how much I'm holding right now is about 0 0.204 Bitcoin twelve thousand twelve thousand nine hundred and seventeen dollars and fifty two cents okay is what is what i have in my wallet right now since i started mining bitcoin earlier earlier at the not not at the very start of the year but early this year right okay so i have twelve thousand nine hundred and seventeen bucks right already accrued right after paying electric bills and everything like that that's that's what i have in bitcoin so 
let's go ahead and um, now out of that forty thousand dollars that I've already invested, which so this money I invested was money that I've already accumulated, right? It's not like the hardware I sold was already paid off. I've already paid that hardware off. I didn't owe any money on it. It's already ROI'd and everything like that. So there was no like negative balances being transferred. But if you think about it, I'm already, if you take the, you know, $12,000, you take the 40 grand and minus the $12,917 Okay, I only got twenty seven thousand left to buy, or you know to to be able to 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 you know to pay off essentially, right? If if you wanted to look at it like that, right? To for it to mine all that Bitcoin to pay for the miners so far, right? So technically, if I sold all the miners, I could make like two hundred dollars a day, which is not really worth that kind of investment, right? But then I also have all the Bitcoin I mined, which is another $12,000, right? So really, I'm like $13,000 in the green for my investment so far, right? Because I could sell the equipment, make the money back, and then also all the Bitcoin I've harvested, right? I've kept, not sold. The, the answer is, is it worth it to get into Bitcoin mining? And to me... The answer is going to be yes, right? Um, and everybody who wants to get into Bitcoin mining uh, usually wants to get in when the profits are really good, right? When, because right now everybody's really scared with the uh, with the having and everything like that, right? Oh man, we're going to be going down to like you know like three point one two, right, or whatever it is, right? Because we're at like six and a quarter right now. So just think about it this way: we already are at at what we call a, a as a deficit of people who want to buy Bitcoin, right? There's already a deficit, right? Which means that people want to buy so much Bitcoin that there's not a there's not enough being produced every day, right? So it is only going to drive the scarcity more when the having comes. Now, do I think it's going to like just pop off right away? No, I don't think so, but. To me, my speculative price towards the end of the year, I think is going to be around 115000 125000 respectively. Because you have to keep in mind, we beat the all-time high before the halving. Never happened. Ever. That has never, ever happened in a cycle. Ever. So that just tells us how strong this bull run is going to be. And... I know like some people are really skeptical about getting into ASIC mining um, and stuff like that. It is expensive. And to me, if you're going to Bitcoin mine, I wouldn't do it less than 25 machines because it's definitely not worth it. Um, I wouldn't do it with one or two. I, I think you need more than that. Um, if you have only a couple, I mean, you'll make some okay passive income, but the, the nice thing is, though, is when you get a bigger farm like this one here, right? I have so many machines that are working together that they collectively make more more revenue. So I'm able to pay off equipment much, much faster, right? As a whole, I use the whole farm to pay off itself, right? Not just like waiting for each individual machine to like ROI or whatever. So people get confused a little bit about when's the right time to buy mining equipment right and i was a rookie just like you guys right i got in at the last you know start of the last bull run you know uh 2020 december right you know in, in like january 2021 and and that's when i was ethereum mining and uh and stuff like that getting into crypto and stuff like that everybody only wants to buy when it's making money right when it's jet when it's actually making you that passive income right now, I realize that some of the the Bitcoin ASICs aren't that impressive right now compared to these Casper miners, but to me, it's a much safer play. You know what Bitcoin's going to do. You know it's going to go up. You, I'm not going to say it's a for sure thing, but because nothing is. But if if you if you had to wager against something, right, 
you know, you know Bitcoin is going to go up in price. It's almost a guaranteed win, right? Why won't you take that? Um, to me, that's that's how I'm doing. I'm doing I'm doing the safe route, and I think it's a good play. Um, the best time to buy mining equipment, though, is in the bear market. Is when things are not making that much because the ASIC prices go down, right? When we're in a bear a bear run or bear market, prices go down because obviously people aren't buying as much equipment as they usually are. The uh, the revenue or profitability isn't great. Right. So obviously, there's not a supply and demand issue from the ASIC manufacturers. So this is why they get much cheaper. Right. So like all the Casper miners, they're like really expensive right now. Right. They're like thirty, forty thousand dollars. Right. To to get one of the new KS fives. Right. Because it's supply and demand. Right. But just the same supply and demand will happen with the Bitcoin ASICs. I know quite a few people in the last bull run that paid eleven thousand dollars for an S19J Pro. Okay, that's insane. All right, and it it was making okay money then. It was making okay money. It was making like, you know, like ten fifteen bucks a day or something like that. You know what I mean? It was doing all right. So it's like, to me, you kind of have to think about it long term, right? If you wait till the till the money's really good and the profitability is really high in Bitcoin mining, you're not getting that machine right now, right? Um, I know my com- I'm not trying to shill or anything like that because I just know that my company Terrahashes sells ASICs because um, I'm, I'm one of the I'm one of the uh, co-owners of, of you know Terra uh, Terra Industries and Terra Hashes as part of Terra Industries. Um, we sell ASICs and I know roughly right now the 110 S19K is going for 1677 right now. I guarantee you by the end of this year that machine will not be selling for that price. And you're going to be like, well, what do you mean it's not going to be selling for that price? I guarantee you it will be selling for much more, right? Because there's going to be supply and demand. Profitability will be up, which means if profitability's up, that means that they're going to be charging you more money for the same machine. Let's think about that. If you wait too long to get in and you wait till the money's really good, let's say you had to spend $5,000 for an S19K, right? That's the same machine I got. But I only paid sixteen hundred dollars for it. I bought three machines for the price of year one, because the everybody's thinking up here is like, oh, it's not making that much. Don't buy that machine. No, that's you kind of have to not think that way. You kind of have to think about long term and down the road. All right, and you have to learn to play. You have to learn how to hodl, right? And this is just like this is just like the DJ Mind's way here. Okay, DJ, I'm quoting you again. I love his quotes. This is just mine, hodl, do nothing, right? It's exactly that situation right here, okay? You have to think about it down the road, not think about it right now, instead of just looking at what's right here in front of you, look down the street, right? So that's the same thing with ASIC mining. So do I think it's still a good time to get into ASIC mining or Bitcoin mining? I would say yes. Right now is a great time to get in. Prices are still low, and that's obviously because of fear, Right, because everybody doesn't want to buy in right now because of the having coming up and everybody and all this uncertainty, right? I I don't I I don't think it's gonna go down that much. We have ETFs and all this other stuff, we have the ordinals and everything like that. I I don't see Bitcoin going down much. I think it's just gonna be another, you know, business as usual day, which is gonna be way different for us, right? But then again, everything else has already been different. We've already hit all time highs. So to answer you guys' question, I think it's still a great time to get in. I think you, you need to get in before the summertime because I feel that's when prices will go up, right, significantly more. And, you know, and then you guys might miss the train. And I'm not trying to, like, say this to, like, put you in fear. It's just, like, if you are thinking about this, you should probably do it, right? Because you're going to be, like, kicking yourself in the butt, you know, when it comes like around like, you know, fall or, you know, winter time, like, oh man, I should have done that, man. Now, now the S19K is like $3,700 or something like that, right? Or whatever it is, right? I guarantee it's exactly how it's going to be because it happens every time to everybody, right? Everybody waits too long. They wait till the money's good, but then the ASIC prices go up, right? These ASIC manufacturers are not stupid.
So yeah, let me know down in the comments down below what you guys think about Bitcoin mining. Is it worth it? Are you guys doing it? Or am I just playing out of my mind here? All right. So thanks for hanging out with me. I know this is not my usual studio. I'm on the road right now in Kansas at our mining facilities. So I appreciate you hanging out with me. All right. This is Mining King giving you the most hashes and I'll see you next time.